Thanks for staying with us. Dr. Bafemi Yamzat, our deputy governor, is all over the papers. Ah, Nigerians and they, when it comes to, to bed, they see him everywhere. Mm -hmm. Everywhere. I mean, it's good to celebrate. Mm -hmm. You know, it was, it was a lot. Okay, let's start with the nation. But we really, really wish him a happy birthday. He's a, he's a friend of the house, yeah. and he loves the show, and his wife, they are all supporters of the show. So we really, really wish you a very happy birthday today, and we hope that God will continue to bless you and strengthen you mm -hmm. to the rest of your life. Now, moving on now Can to... I ask you a question? Yes, ma'am. If he wasn't a supporter of the show, you wouldn't wish him a... Oh, I will. I mean, I'm just I'm giving extra okay. notice. You know, you already mentioned it earlier, but I'm giving it extra because he's a friend of the house. I probably won't do that for Mr. Profima. Ah. Ah. Just joking. I'm just joking. Just joking. <laughs> the nation, I hope you didn't hear that. PDP governor <laughs> split over bid to sack party chair Damagum. 80.2 billion probe. Yahaya Belo EFZ in hide and seek. Steer clear of Edo election, CDS wants troublemakers. Nigeria to become leading hub in $7.7 .7 trillion halal global market, says Shatima. U.S. agency OK's brain aid chip to restore vision. Tremor sends fear panic to Abuja residents. Aburi, those who begged us for tickets now fighting us. And the uh, picture story, Makinde to deliver 41 billion at Ibadan Airport upgrade next year. Mm. Okay. They're going to compare him to Obaseki very soon. Well, um, I have the vice president's um, story. So they had the Alal Economic Stakeholder Engagement Program yesterday, held at the banquet hall of the presidential villa in Abuja. And at the event, the vice president um, said that Nigeria has the potential to join this $7.7 .7 trillion global halal market. And what we needed to do was, you know, reassess our weaknesses and prioritize our strengths and we can achieve being a, you know, a large part of it. He said the nation's economic and demo demographic size puts it in an, adva it, uh, in an advantage or a vintage position to map out vibrant investment sector for the global halal economic project to reach the market value, like I said, the 7.7 .7 trillion by 2025. And we're hoping that this does not mean that we're just looking at the population as opposed to, you know, getting in the market i'm even very much interested we have a huge halal market already mm. in nigeria if we as government we should be projecting it already but he, according to his senior special assistant to the to the on media and information um stanley Kocha, for nigeria to become a hub of opportunities in the global halal economy we must prioritize our strength and reassess our weaknesses and today's engagement provides us the platform to collaborate with key international um, organizations. And I hope that, not just that, they were also able to open up the existing halal market. Okay. Mm. Any other story in nation? Let me... Yes. Okay, go ahead. So I'm excited about this one. As someone that's worn glasses since I was pretty young. So the United States Food and Drug Administration has approved Elon Musk's um, brain chip startup, um, Neuralink, as a breakthrough device designation. Um, it's named Linesight. And it's um, to enable individuals with complete or partial blindness, including those with non-functional optic nerves, to have the opportunity to see again. Even if you were born blind, this would be an opportunity for you to be able to see for the first time. I think this is a, a great use of um, AI. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so um, he also said the reports indicate that the FDA awards its breakthrough designation to medical devices <laughs> that treat or diagnose life-threatening conditions expediting their development and review. Um, they also said that even if you've lost um, sight in both eyes and then you still have your optic nerve, you will be able to still see a little bit. So this is really good because there's a chip that they put in the brain and then it connects with your, yes, so your nerve. I think you have something to see. Yes, now, because those of us that watched uh, Rapture back then mm. and watched uh, End Time, we can't allow anybody to put any chip anywhere else. No, but if no, but if you're born a child that is blind, or, yeah, they said that for anybody, even when if you were born blind, as far as your optic nerves are intact, I hate you. Yes, I don't want you. You know, if it's an opportunity to see again, why not? Because well, okay. you, you can't talk because you are talking from a position of someone that can see. Exactly. Someone that can't see will probably go. I'm for talking it. as a Christian because we have watched a movie that says. That they will put, they will start putting marks on they. human beings and during the end time. So yeah. when I hear cheap, I, I run away. Anyway, that's my personal view. Okay, let me take uh, our your state governor Shei Makinde. He has um, said that his administration will deliver the 41 billion naira um, 
Airport Upgrade. <laughs> it's going to be called, it's called, called Samuel Ladoke Akintola Airport. And he said that um, they will, they had, they will complete it. Um, it's actually been existing for a while. and said that they're going to complete it within 12 months. He was saying this during the groundbreaking ceremony that happened yesterday. And it was accompanied with his Oshun State counterpart, um, Senator Ademola Deleke, the acting national chairman of the PDP, um, Elias Damagum, and members of the National Working Committee were all there with him. He said that the first phase of the project had been awarded to Krimberg at the cost of 41 billion naira. He thanked the president for approving the state government's request to upgrade the facility. And he said that it would definitely yield economic um, strength and that the decision was based on logic, science, and data, noting that the government um, would also upgrade parts of the facilities which increase number of airlines, including Nibadon, and their also flight schedules. Okay, so any other story? In Abuja, from the 13th to the 16th, or, and part of the 17th, they experienced um, tremors, and the residents are really running scared. Okay, okay I have to go on a break. I have to take that story again, because I'm told your, your mic is back. Let me go on a shop. When we come back, we'd like to take that story. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.